Hello and welcome back to Digger Down Metal Detecting. Um, you can probably tell I'm a bit puffy in the face. I've got a bit of a cold this week. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I figured uh, if you have to go to work all week with a cold, there's no way you're going to be missing detecting, is there? <laughs> so I'm out anyway. I'm out regardless. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm missing this. What a glorious morning. Look at this. And um, I'm on. I'm actually on the my biggest field that I that I have. This is actually it's half a mile long from one end to the other. This field. It's it's pretty large. Um, and I haven't been on it for a while because I it was in like a, a wild flower. Um, but they've swiped it, <laughs> and I don't know when they swiped it. I, I haven't been keeping a close enough eye on this one because it's not close like close close to my other permission. Uh, it's a little way away. So. Um, yeah, I came here the other day and just checked it out, and it happens to be happens to be swiped and and nice and flat. Um, there is a frost this morning, but we had a it's, it's thawed out over the last few days, so hopefully hopefully the ground's not very hard either. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Last time I was on here with the legend, I um, I was filling my pot every time. You know, this field was really really giving up the goods not to say that it will now I mean I, I, I did go over it and over it with the legend and um, but yeah we, we know what the manticore is like the manticore can pull out the, the smaller stuff and there was hammers coming up there was the odd Roman bit of Roman um, so yeah well we'll see what happens but I'm, I'm really really looking forward to this one um, it, yeah it's been too long on this field so I need to need to get back out there and, and have a have a good go at it with the with the manticore this is the first time the manticore has been on here so um, yeah, without further ado, let's let's crack on, and I'll I'll see you on that first hole. We'll probably move further up the field because this end's pretty trashy, <laughs> but we'll see how the manticore deals with that. I'll see you on the first hole, guys. I'll start off on my uh, my usual settings. I think um, my all terrain fast. I think recovery's around five six. I think something like that. Um, like I say, this end of the field's pretty trashy, so it'll be interesting to see how the manticore deals with that. I remember just, I, usually I'd walk out into the middle of the field before I get anywhere near. Just like that, you see, it's going to be, I'm not even going to dig it, it's on the surface, it's just trash. Um, but yeah, busy, busy down this end, I don't know what happened here, but... Seems to have got a lot of trash. Again, on the surface, we'll just prove it. Can't see it, but a little bit of a freeze in the ground here, I think. Where is it? <laughs> say it's on the surface. Just in here, not not very deep, I don't think. This out, and it's gonna be there you go, a piece of foil. Lots of that, lots of can down this end. So yeah, I think we'll uh, I'll swing my way across, but I'll move across and we'll start from there. I've actually already switched to all terrain general. Uh, I tend to do that if the ground quietens up. Um, I'll switch to all terrain general. Pretty much similar settings. I've got the same ferrous limits, upper and lower limits. Um, I don't tend to change those much. I think I feel like I've got those fairly well set now to how I how I like them. How the iron is in these fields that I go on. Um, I feel like it's it's pretty close. So yeah, I, like I say, I, I tend to switch over to all terrain general. Hell, I've got a cold. I've, uh, my mind's not working, so I'm concentrating on the beep, so I can't talk and concentrate at the same time. <laughs> Sounds near the surface, that. About there, just to use it a little wiggle technique there, trying to get it towards the end of my coil, which is about right. It's about exactly where I but I'm getting better at pinpointing. I was finding with the manticore, actually, I wasn't doing very well pinpointing stuff. Um, and I think it's because the uh, the sort of sweet spot is further towards the, the front of the coil, uh, not quite in the center. It's just in front of the center, I think. So kind of where the 
M11 is just just in the in, back from that. So yeah, um, yeah, a little tip there. But yeah, just a piece of wire that, like I say, pretty trashy down this end. There we go guys, first actual signal of the day. I think this was about an 18 and it was right on the surface. I literally just did that with my foot. Um, I could hear it was banging on the surface. Uh, but yeah, very squashed piece of a thimble. So yeah, not a not bad little first find. And this is down, like I say, in, the, in quite a trashy area. So yeah, like I said, no, it was on the surface obviously, but but yeah, uh, there's definitely stuff down here between the trash. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that's a good thing. But yeah, we'll carry on. Hopefully we'll find someone else. Just beautiful. This is the place to be. <laughs> this is where I want to be. Anyway, I've got a very jumpy 50s, 60s here. And I was not expecting this. Pretty deep, actually. It was down here. Uh, good. Uh, what was that? Nine inches? Eight, nine inches? Um, and I think, I think it's going to be a buckle. I'm hoping so. <laughs> uh, let's uncover it together and find out. I think, pretty sure it is. And it looks like it's not going to be, I don't think that's that old. Uh, possibly military. Uh, could be totally wrong there. Could be older than I think. But I think that's, that's more of a modern style, isn't it? When I say modern, I'm talking early 1900s, probably. Uh, World War, World War Two, World War One, World World War Two. I think they used to train around here a bit. Still, even hinges look. It's that new. <laughs> that moves perfectly well. Still, that. That's pretty cool. I could probably actually put a strap on that and use that as a buckle. Still, that's incredible. But yeah, I'd say that's probably like mil military issue. And if I'm totally wrong there, please correct me. Um, don't mind being corrected when I'm wrong. But that is awesome. Yeah, love finding little buckles. What a personal little piece of history, aren't they? Someone wore that. Someone used that to hold their trousers up. <laughs> um, or it could have, been, could have been a strap off a gun, possibly, or, or something like that. Bag, maybe. Could have been anything, I guess. But yeah, really cool. Pretty perfect little signal there, but it's actually closer to the surface than I thought. It's about 25. I think I've just seen something here as well. Is that it? No, I think that's a stone actually. I thought that was a little bullet case and it's not. It's a little bit of flint. We're definitely out. Trash. <laughs> Trash again. Oh, these are the bane of my life, these things. I think the farmer here uh, has sort of allergies and stuff. When he harvests, he uses dust masks. <laughs> and I think they got uh, launched out of the window. So, uh, yeah, I tend to find the little metal bendy strap that goes around your nose, you know what I mean? <laughs> Blooming things. Usually attached to a mask, but you can see all the fluff on it. But, yeah. Never mind, we're clearing up, I guess. This next one was about has a, a good solid 64, 65, and uh, yeah, it's a lead weight. Um, not too clued up on the ages of these, but this one looks reasonably old. It's got an iron uh, pin in the middle of it, um, or a loop it would have been, I guess. Um, but yeah, not sure on that. I don't think, I wouldn't say sort of Roman era. Um, they're more of a cone sort of shape, a bit wider. Um, but yeah, not, not sure of that at all, really. I'm not sure what it would have been for either. Um, but yeah, nice. Big lead weight. Right, well, kind of kind of not expecting this, actually. Let me move my spade over. Um, bit of a nice signal. But 53, 54, I don't think they were sort of coin numbers. Maybe I could be wrong. I seem to get that quite often. I quite often get you know numbers that I'm not expecting coins and this was slightly iffy in the ground but I suppose it depends on who it is and and when it was it's a beautiful coin it's a George the uh, seventh is it yeah no uh, sorry Ed, George Edward Edward the seventh that is a stunning coin look at that 
I forgot how good this soil is here. This is polar opposite digging to last week. <laughs> um, sandy, soft soil here. It's like, it's beautiful digging. And it, I forgot how well it preserves stuff as well. I was pulling up some beautiful, beautiful coins last time as well. So that's stunning. Absolutely, it's like it was dropped yesterday. Look at that. Oh, we got a date, 19. Early 1900s, okay, 1907. There you go, half penny. What did I say it was? 53, 54, I think. Let me just check again because I need to remember these numbers. 52, yeah, 53, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, what? That's incredible. Beautiful condition. Onto a first coin for the day. Very nice. Thirty-five, thirty-six here. Beautiful little signal, but didn't film it. I'm still in the trashy area, like I say. Um, look, as you can see, it's a greenie. It's a coin. It's got a hole in it. Um, I'm going to stick my neck on the line here and say that this is a Roman coin, and I'm absolutely shocked to say that it is, to be honest, because I'm still in that trashy area, but. I mean, I'm not 100% sure, it's very, I don't know if you can make it out if I get the sun on it. It's very smooth and shiny looking, like it's, it's been worn, purposely worn uh, smooth. But to me, that's Roman, oh, yeah, that's a Roman bust right there. Look at the, the hole is perfect, it's very, I wonder if that was holed later on, you know. That's, that's a very neat hole, isn't it? I mean, they were clever anyway, but I mean, that's very clean and, and neat for a, for the Romans to, to have done that. I think that's, I think somebody's worn that. Somebody's found it and worn it later on in life. Uh, but that, yeah, that's Roman all day long. I'm sure of it now. Just looking at it. I'll just keep, keep looking at it. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm certain it is. S-T-A-N, is it Constant? I think it is Constantine. I cannot believe that. Yeah, that's 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 a long way down the field here for there to be Roman, um, which is very good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> onto the Roman already. Cannot believe it. And it's hold. That's that's pretty cool. That. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's done later on that hole. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. But that's yeah. I'm pretty certain that's a Roman coin. And obviously been worn by somebody very nice indeed onto a smashing day already this field just yeah always did produce solid 32 33 there Beautiful little signals, very similar to that little Roman coin, actually. Let's see how soft this ground is. It's beautiful. Oh, it's out. <coughs> and actually, yeah, I thought I could see something on the top there. And this is what I was expecting, actually, when I uh, had that Roman coin, to be honest. Uh, yeah, a button. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of those on here, so yeah, no shortage of buttons. That's a little four hold. Kind of looks like a little jean button, actually. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was expecting when I found that Roman coin, if I'm honest. So, which is why I didn't film it. Uh, but yeah, nice little four hold button. Trying to keep my nose warm. Cold airs make my nose run. <laughs> it makes me sneeze as well, so. Yeah, it's been a difficult already, actually. I've 
amount of times I've had to stop to blow my nose. <laughs> Crazy me. That's tiny. Tiny piece of lead. Little scrap lead. <coughs> dear oh dear. And this is why I love this field. Such a variety of finds on here. We've got ourselves a little bag seal. Um, yeah, not good with my bag seal, so no idea what that would have been, but some sort of crop or seed bag, possibly. Uh, five, what does that say there? Five A, maybe? Five, no, oh, is it 55? Just a bit of a hole in the, in the uh, second five there. I think it's 55. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I just love the fact that there's you, you literally have no idea what you're going to get on here. Um, and to find that Roman coin is brilliant. I think I've only ever had a couple off here, so it's not a great deal of Roman on here, but they're obviously scattered about here, there, and everywhere, uh, which is great. But yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. History of all ages, <laughs> literally. No way I'm not digging that one. Blew my ears off. <laughs> 85, 86, a little bit jumpy and not exactly the roundest dot on there, but it definitely, definitely got the sound of a coin. And that's out, and I'll tell you what, I think it is. I think it's now sat up on edge just there. I don't know if you can see that. I won't move it, I'll, uh, we'll go straight to the other camera, I think. There we go guys, so yeah, looks like we've got ourselves a coin, and like I say, standing up on edge just as I flicked it out. It's a big green coin. What have we got there? What is that? Um, I'm going to say George III, looking at that. Definitely got that kind of look to him, hasn't it? Right facing, uh, as one way of telling actually as if there's a little rim around the edge of the coin a little ridge almost like a sandwiched yeah there is look so that's yeah george third so usually like that but yeah there he is very smooth coin that again very smoothed off coin just see where is she britannia there we are hello britannia uh, and no date, unfortunately. Not that I can see. Um, but yeah, nice little George third. I'm going to say half penny in the size of that. And that's the third coin of the day. So we're on to a winner. Awesome. <laughs>
I mean, that's pretty extravagant, isn't it? Imagine wearing that on your clothes, got gilded and everything out, kneeled on a stone. <laughs> that is a big, big button. Absolute monster. <laughs> button Porn Central there, look, we've got a bit of button, a bit of patterning on there, a bit of gilding as well. You beauty, shank, complete button. Let's have a look on the other camera quickly. Yeah, we won't spend too long here, but look at that. Big old bit of button porn. Absolute beauty. Lots of gilding on there, look. That is a big button. I don't know how I can show you, really. A little sting in that will just stung me. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> how nasty they are. But yeah, that is a big button. Probably the size of a good, you know, a big penny. If not slightly bigger. But yeah, lovely. Another big signal here, 61, 62. Possible another but another big button. There is a lot up this end, so definitely a possibility. But also could be a coin. Or what's that actually? It's not a coin and it's not a button. What is that? Oh wow. Oh wow, you know what, I don't know what that is, but that's fancy looking. Wow, uh, let me get straight on the other camera, that's very different, I have no idea what that is. Like a toggle, let me have a look, we'll have a look on the other camera. Right, so there you go guys, I've had a bit of a clean-up. Um, it's hollow in the back. It's almost got the look of a, the top of a fibula, hasn't it? But <laughs> it's not, I'm not sure if that's Roman, that more, it shouts more medieval-y sort of patterning to me. Uh, definitely some little bits of iron trace on it. Um, and again on the back there, like something's broken off of it. I mean, it can't be, that can't be a bit of a fibula, can it? I'm just dreaming there, I think. <laughs> I've have sent a message to somebody to try and uh, try and see if I can get an ID on it. Sent a few photos over, um, but that I mean I I have I must admit I have seen fibulas with that pattern. That's incredible. I've got no idea. I'm I'm not going to say fibula because that's just just ridiculous. It's too big for a start. It's huge, massive thing. Um, I feel like I've seen something similar before, but I just can't can't put my finger on it. it almost looks like there was a hinge here doesn't it unless it is part of like a, a some sort of kind of catch like a fancy buckle or something I don't know but that is pretty cool and hopefully I'll uh, I'll find out what it is fairly soon and we can I can let you know but yeah that's amazing really pleased with that So I just had another coin actually, it was just down here, out of the way, um, I, I totally missed it, it was quite deep actually, but um, another bit of an iffy signal, I don't know if it was on edge maybe, again, but look at this, 17, I'm going to say roughly 18, and that, uh, that tells me I think, it's very hard to see, but he's facing right there, I think, George the First. I could be totally wrong there. That's very early 1700s, I think. So we got Britannia there, big rim around the outside of the coin. But yeah, it was in the 50s, 50, 60. Um, but yeah, bang and signal, just just a little bit out of the way. That's all. Um, and like I say, I think a little bit on edge, but I think that's a George the First. Can write, make some writing out around the outside there. I just 
yeah, I'm not sure, but he's definitely facing right there to me. Yeah, let me know what you think on that, guys. But dates wise, yeah, adds up. I think a 1718 possibly. But yeah, what a cool coin. That's old. Um, I'm not surprised at the condition of it for that age, to be honest. But yeah, very cool. That goes a nice little signal here, and I'm actually roughly where I was when I found that sort of coin spill. That's a George the Sixth again, and I think I'm pretty sure they were all George Fifth, George Sixth uh, coins before. Um, but yeah, just another one to add to it. And actually, what a really nice condition coin again, threepence or threepenny bit. Sorry, um, 1943. I think it ties in with the dates of those as well, roughly. I think they were about 50% silver um, but yeah there was quite a few up this corner so kind of a little spill up here of some kind but yeah maybe we'll find some more I don't know but yeah very nice they don't normally come up in that condition just zoom out for you there yeah real nice that Guys, well, I'm missing a lot of these on uh, live digs because they're coming in at odd numbers in the 50s. This is 53, and uh, talking of my little coin spill that I found back, that was first when I first came on here, actually, when it was a new field. I think the video was called uh, New Field uh, Coin Spill. I'll put the, put the uh, thumbnail up on the screen here, but I think, yeah, it is. We've got, we've got ourselves a little milled silver. Oh, I've just lost the some of the imprint there where the other half of that go I don't know <laughs> there's a bit of an imprint there um, but it looks like we've got ourselves a little sixpence uh, 1931 again look yeah George George 6th George no George 5th this one yeah George 5th George 6th that was what the coins were but yeah back on the silver again look at that so that's 50 I think it's 50% silver 31 I can't remember when they changed it to 50% <clears throat> um, what was it? Yeah, well, they changed it to 50% in 1920, I think. Went from full silver to 50%. Um, but yeah, very, very pleased with that. So I got myself a little bit of silver today as well. Beautiful little coin. I do love milled. <laughs> I don't find much of it, so yeah, when I do, I, I really, really appreciate it. But that's that's very cool. Let's carry on. Let's see if we can pull some more of this spill up. Eighty nine ninety. Bit jumpy, actually. I'm gonna. I have a guess that it could be a piece of aluminium. <laughs> but I'm also in the right place for one of the spill coins, so I'll take my chances, I think. I think I might have missed that. I think it's near the surface here, actually. Big piece of alley. Oh, you guys, you're in for a treat. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Look at this. Look at that for a bit of button porn. Look at the gold in that. Crikey. I think that was just dipped in molten gold, wasn't it? <laughs> um, does it? Is it me? Or, yeah, it even says gold plate. What does that say there? Sorry, guys, trying to focus rich gold plate well yeah it says it all really doesn't it it's not lying <laughs> crikey someone knew how to make the buttons that's beautiful anybody who can tell you that buttons aren't beautiful well look at that <laughs> wow absolutely smashed it Well, there we go guys, another George the Sixth, Thrupney bit. 
and again in reasonably good condition just came out of there uh, yeah 1948 that one unbelievable we're definitely pulling up the coins today that's what I love about this field honestly it's just the the amount of coins that come up beautiful right guys well that's gonna be me today um, yeah what a fantastic day I'm I'm so, so pleased with today's results. Um, yeah, we've absolutely smashed it. What have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins today. That's just, you know, I just don't, I don't get them like that. Not, not like milled coins and things like that. Um, so yeah, well, well pleased. <laughs> um, and I've had some really special little finds actually. Um, there's a lot to say, this field's just got, it's got it all. It really has got it all. You've got Roman, you've got, um, Georgian, Victorian, um, medieval, and possibly, I'm hoping, I'm still very hopeful for the fact that there might be Saxon and, and Norman sort of times, you know. Uh, there is a there is a Norman or slash Saxon church very nearby, so um, there's always that chance, isn't there, you know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna chat for too long because I'm well aware that my nose will just start streaming on me again. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. Let's have a look at what we found today, guys. So yeah, there we go, guys. Absolutely smashed it. Like I said this morning, I said this this field always produces and gives you a potful, or at least two potfuls. <laughs> Crikey, look at it. That is mad, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. I love this place. I love this field. You just never know you never know what's going to come up next so uh yeah let's have a look what we got here so we've got a whole load of buttons obviously this field really does have a lot of buttons in it every other signal is nearly a button and this isn't all of them i've kept sort of the better ones with shanks and and what have you the other ones are all in my, in my trash bag so there is more there's probably about another 10 or so i would imagine uh put a little piece of uh, thimble there very flat <laughs> don't know what's happened to that unfortunately uh big lead weight um with a bit of an iron pin like i say i'm not 100 percent sure on the age of that i'm not not sure at all uh big piece of buckle there um again we're not going to really know there is a bit of markings on that side but whether they're uh, purposefully placed there i don't know i'm not sure on that one yeah quite a big buckle probably horse tack actually looking at the size of it um and then some fancy little bits look at this bit of button porn there look at that i love that i absolutely love that look at the gold in there crikey Whoa. <laughs> um, and another big big button there look lots of gold plating or gilded um yeah crazy crazy love the buttons that come off here there's always something a bit fancy um not sure on that at all it's a bit of a part of fact possibly a clothes hook that was at some point clothes hanger um one of those medieval rings this is quite an old one because it's got lots of file marks on it very crude um that buckle from this morning the one with the the little pin still moves which is pretty cool quite like that I'm impressed with that you could almost reuse that couldn't you that's uh yeah that's very smart i'm pretty sure it's not that old but um i will look that up actually i'll look i've got buckle book now so i can uh, i can have a look at that um and possibly even find out that actually might be able to figure it out um and of course that that crazy little find there and i think i've i've spoken actually to cheryl cheryl Dawes from east of england rallies um and she thinks possibly possibly part of the handle off a sword medieval sword um so i will do some research and hopefully i can come back to you with something if not has anybody got any ideas or other ideas because that's that is amazing it's definitely medieval look at that pattern and there's that that's undeniably medieval whatever it is but that is yeah very cool and I, yeah like i say we're thinking possibly part of a sword handle not sure yet but yeah hopefully i'll be able to find out and coins wise like i say absolutely smashed it seven coins today uh we've got george or sorry edward the seventh there keep confusing him george he's not george i find so many georges <laughs> uh seven, 1907 there a little half penny beautiful detail again 
Um, a lot of them come up in, in good condition here. Um, we've got a George the Third there, a very smooth George the Third. You can just make Britannia out there, upside down. There she is. Um, this one is, I think, the George the First, which is very cool actually. That's pretty old, and I think we had a date there. I think this is hard to see now. Seventeen. 17 18 possibly could be wrong there but yeah that's a george the first and we've got two george sixth uh thrupney bits there two of those today and this little silver which has sort of made the day for this for the silvers we haven't had any anything else silver today so that's pretty cool 1931 that'll be a 50 percent silver george the fifth little sixpence you little beauty Gotta love these old milled coins. Look at the detail on them. Look at that. The effort that's gone into that. Absolutely crazy. Beautiful little oak leaves there. Look. Lovely little find. And of course, um, I think, well, these are two, both stars of the day, really. Um, this little Roman coin. Um, like I say, there's not a great deal of Roman come off here. Um, and it's obviously it's hold, so someone's worn it at some point in its life. Whether it was uh, done in Roman times like that and worn, I don't know. Uh, but that is definitely a little Roman coin. Um, yeah, so very, very pleased with that. Like I say, don't find too many here. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home and get myself in the warm, get myself tucked up. <laughs> <laughs> full of cold i hate head colds it's nearly gone i think it's just it's in my nose and in, in the back of my eyes it's like ah, oh, horrible isn't it <laughs> uh, it's that time of year though hey <laughs> um but yeah no absolutely smashed it today absolutely over the moon with the finds um hopefully i'll be able to find out about that little sword handle i'm, I'm so pleased with that that's mega 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 um so yeah I'll leave it at that, I think, guys. Um, thank you very much, as always, for watching. Um, I, s I appreciate it all. You know, the, the likes, the thumbs up. Um, every one of you that subscribes, there's lots of sub new subscribers coming in. So thank you all for joining and um, hope you're all enjoying the videos. Uh, don't forget, you know, if, if you want to, um, you can use my code DiggerD10 um, at Dragon Detect in the links in the, in the description. Um, you get yourself 10% off online. <coughs> um, so yeah, less waffle and <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.